I'll take this one, thank you. Oh, no, that's my mug. Not that it matters in any way. There are no mugs on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> While we are still living, perhaps I could have it back. That's your coffee, Christine. Actually, Brenda, I think I won't have it. Why? I'm just sensing it's been made by exporting workers in the third world. <laughs> And I often find very cheap coffee can provoke an unscheduled bowel movement. <laughs> I was just telling Christine about Anita and how she left the baby for Bren on the fire escape. Yeah. But don't mention it to her, though. I might have to, Brenda. Well, I might have to smash you in the face with a tin of beans. Then. <laughs> You're joking, of course. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. He just fell asleep just now. Oh, he is cute. In the kitchen. Hello. <laughs> Who's that? That's Christine. And what's that smell? That's Christine as well. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm really well. I'm doing sit-ups every day. And I've got a hemorrhoid, but it's quite a dinky one. <laughs> You're looking really flat. Well, he was tucked right up under here. That's why he didn't show. And he was only five and a half pounds. So, did you not know you were pregnant? Look, I can't really tell you properly here. No, of course you can't. But I'd just like to explain why I left him for you. I wasn't thinking straight. Look, it doesn't matter. I didn't want to hurt my family, so I thought, if I gave him to you... What, because I said I wished I'd had one? I just thought I could please everybody. But I had to have him back. Of course you had to have him back. Hey, how are you doing? You're looking great. I'm really well. Got away with just one little hemorrhoid. <laughs> Did you? My cousin had three big ones, sort of in a cluster. <laughs> I'm just having a fag. Still together? Yeah, we're absolutely together. Ah, oh, is it lovely? Well, it was lovely, yeah, but he doesn't want to work here anymore, so it's not looking that lovely at the minute. Can you really not have a baby? No, we can't. Well, I might, but he can't. He's not fertile. I'm really sorry. At least he's not that other thing. What other thing? It's quite a little bouncy sort of a word. Dum de dum. Trampoline? <laughs> Marzipan? <laughs> Confident. Impotent. <laughs> At least he's not impotent. <sighs> well, actually, don't tell anybody, but he sort of is. It's just happened lately. What are you having? Tea? <laughs> You're going straight home, Dolly? We're going shopping. Mrs. Hot Pants is after a new outfit. Right, it's the big night. I want something that'll slim me down, come in handy, and get Stan going. A mini skip? <laughs> get in there. Oh. What are you doing, Tweet? Crashing out? Going to Anita's. Have hold of the baby. Fill her in on Pepe Le Pew. But, uh, I'm staying up wind of the trolley, I tell you. <laughs> Can I just say something? What? That the little bit of weight you carry isn't fat and it isn't water. It's all those negative, cynical attitudes gathered in solid form of your physical body. <laughs> and once you let those go, that little bit of weight will leave you and you'll finally connect to the aura within. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think it stinks. And it's not the only thing. <laughs> See you, Brown. See ya. I'm sure there's a beautiful person in there somewhere, but so deeply hidden. Have you always been a bit thick, Christine, or did you have to do an evening class? <laughs> You're quite shallow, aren't you, Brenda? <laughs> no offence meant. No, but lots taken, thank you. I'm off, Bren. <laughs> no maintenance operative entering opposite gender toilet. <laughs> All right, Christine, you're taking the trolley round. Do you know where you're going? Well, I think I'll be able to sense where I'm going, actually. 
I'll be drawn to where refreshment is needed. Fair enough. Uh, I'm off to head office, Bren. Thank you so much, Anthony. They've lost another three contracts. No. Two places are closing the canteens down altogether. You can have. Can I just say that I really appreciate you taking the trouble to reassure me the way you just did when I know your own life's been touched by a tragedy? You can say what you like. See you later, Bren. See ya. <laughs> They're fighting back, though, head office. What? New uniforms. What? What like? Don't know. But if it's a dicky bow, I'm definitely out of here. <laughs> Stanley. Don't call me that. My mother called me that. She was a marvellous woman. She could lift up a motorbike and sidecar one-handed. I feel we've somehow got up on the wrong foot. We have. And I wonder if it's not fear of sexual inadequacy that makes you so aggressive. Do you feel perhaps you have a small member? <laughs> I think we'll be the best of pals now. I think I should have smashed you in the face with a tin of beans when I first started. <laughs> Just turn me around. Hello. Golly, what is that? It smells like the elephant house. <laughs> Excuse me. Design first. Do you know what that is? Don't worry. I have an inner compass. Yeah, you could use an inner flipping deodorant. <laughs> ask you something, actually. It is a personnel type thing. <laughs> Sorry, time is louder. Go on. Um, this is from my mother's social worker. They reckon she can't live on her own anymore. In the caravan? Well, anywhere. They think she should live with me. That's ridiculous. What does Tony say? Well, I haven't asked him. I'm not here. I'm not here. Well, ask him now, Bren. <clears throat> Tony, what would you say if I had to have my mother to live with me? Bye. No, what would you say? That's what I'd say. Bye. That's a ludicrous idea. They obviously don't know that you're living with Tony. Yeah, but he wants to leave. Leave the canteen? Leave Manchester. He's, what's that word? Not toadstools. Disenchanted. <laughs> His friend that has the little pub in Scotland where we went to for Christmas, he wants to go there and maybe do meals and things. Well, wouldn't you like that? Well, he's not going to take me, is he? It's people like me he's trying to get away from. Anyway, the social worker's coming here on Friday to talk about my mother and everything. Did you not find design, then? Not as yet. Mm, go back that way, I'll catch you up. <laughs> Do you think I should have her to live with me once Tony's gone? Now, listen... Whiff a rama Well done, well done. Is that totally trivial? Yes, yeah, the most money you can win on a daytime quiz or something. Mm. Nobody's won it yet. How are you feeling about tonight? Sleeping with Jean. Apprehensive. Well, you did all right with Bobby. Bobby was very straightforward. She was very much your three items and straight to the quick checkout. Ren? Yeah? Don't worry about I've got plans for him tonight. <sighs> Oi! Is it safe to come in? She hasn't dropped one lately. <laughs> Seeing as though you've never blooming made one. She won't have to pour the milk, it'll just guide itself into the cups. <laughs> Where's the baby? He's with Mum. Just wondered if there was any chance of me coming back to work. Just the mornings, maybe. Well, you could for me. But at the moment, I'm stuck with Niffy Nora, the Order Explorer. <laughs> Come in and have a chat, anyway. Shall we go? Oh, I wonder if everyone would mind partaking of this particular brew as a celebration of my first week with you all. Yes, why not? Oh, yes, why not? It's like Chamberlain coming back from Munich. <laughs> she only did it once, you know. Who? Anita. When she got pregnant? Yeah, don't you think that's crummy? Did she say who it was? Paul, that I had a thing with. Paul the decorator? Yeah, in his van they did it. Paul Paul, Dark Paul. Yeah, did it once. They only did it once. In the back of his van on a dust sheet. On a dust sheet? Next to a lot of tins of emotion. Aww. <laughs> oh, listen, she wasn't being horrible, but she said something about you and Tony. Yeah? That he was like having a sort of a problem in bed. I couldn't get him before because of bloke and he comes in on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Viagra. They're really hard to get. You know what they are? Oh, yeah, they had them on Richard and Judy. They gave them to three couples, didn't they, and sent them to an hotel. The one it didn't work. And one just went red in the face. And one it worked before he got to the bedroom and he had an orgasm in a revolving door. <laughs> Bren? Yeah? Can I 
Francis. <laughs> that blithering social worker just called. My mother's. She was coming at six. She's coming now. Now? That's a typical sneaky social worker trick, actually. To wrong foot you. But you can't come now. I haven't got my head straight. Wow.